And this gentleman here has been tirelessly working on touching, retouching the huts, the housing. The hut, the hut. Yeah, but what's the name, the local name? It's a Jinka. Jinka. Okay. And they've been doing the Jinka, the roof been touched, retouched because it's kind of worn off. Of course, the weathering has been such. The reeds and straw has kind of um, become almost like earth, actually, if you look at it. Um, it's almost like soil because, after all, uh, whatever comes from earth, including our bodies, is part of the earth. I'm carrying earth. My body is earth. So, um, as you can see, folks, they have a, an incredible skill, incredible attributes of skill and tradition and heritage that has been preserved here in a, in a model village in the midst of all the concrete structures which has been introduced from outsiders to the land which is not part of the land and it does of course over a period of time we've improved our standard of living we're constantly looking to improve our standard of living and to achieve that we have to destroy and somewhat compromise the natural processes of the planet and to extract the materials that we need to extrude new technologies and new uh, materials has huge wastage and huge, uh, huge, uh, huge impact um, the way we live in the future. Yes, the volumes on the planet, the numbers, the populations is another. Not only we've improved our standard of living, we've also increased the the um, what do you call the the age survival on the planet from average across the planet now to be almost 65 between 55 65 years when we have done we have when we have postponed our death we should also postpone our birth and birth rates on the planet we don't have to create laws and rules about how to control the population we can simply educate the woman the feminine, the female, to at least the age of 25, age of probably 22, 23 years of age. By doing so, you will reduce the, uh, the Earth's population numbers. Simply by just making few adjustments, it will benefit every being, every human being. So there are so many ways that we can, and this is not bringing in old traditions but bringing in oh well I'm, what am i talking about i'm talking about the touch roof here and this gentleman has i think he's the the most amazing and he's been working you can see from his own face that he has been tirelessly working so hard unbelievable and it's a it's a technique and it's a it's a application which has been passed down for generations and uh, I can only watch and just admire the skills and look at how even standing on the the slanted roof because a pair of scissors what could have been used in the old days could have been maybe a, a little knife maybe a little sharp object to able to kind of do it but i'm sure in the old days they would have left it in a more rough rough way rather than it's it's more tidier now because we got other other ways amazing absolutely amazing incredible there we have it folks